Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through failures, guys. So, there are some classifications in failures. That's the thing which we will be discussing in this lecture, guys. Okay? Yes. So, the first type of failure is nothing but crash failure. So, basically, from the name only, you can see. So, there is a server crash or some kind of crash. Yes? Yes. So, a server halts. That's nothing but server crash. But it works correctly until it halts. So, basically, assume that a transaction is going on, going on, going on, and it is done. Okay, and now the server has been crashed. So you can safely say that the transaction has been successfully completed and the server has been crashed without any issue, right? Yes. So basically, before it's a crash, everything is a fine. So in that situation, you can say it is called, you can call it as a crash failure, guys. Okay. Similarly, omission failure. Guys, please remember these words, guys, because there are three words with omission. That is nothing but omission failure, receive omission and send omission failure. Okay. Yes. So omission failure. So a server fails to respond to incoming requests. So whenever there is an issue with the incoming requests, then you can say that it is nothing but osmission failure. Similarly, receive osmission failure. So it is nothing but a server fails to receive the incoming messages. So here it is responding. Here it is receiving. Okay. Similarly, send omission. A fail a server failure to send messages. So basically here the server is a failed to send a normal messages here it is nothing but respond to incoming messages receiving incoming messages sending messages so there are three different guys okay yes similarly timing failure so basically assume that there is a deadline given for your something like project or anything so they gave three hours like to code in your in your examination okay so you coded you executed the code but it was late so that is nothing but time failure so a server respond lie outside the specific time interval so basically not in the time interval but outside so that is nothing but time failure. Okay. Similarly, response failure, value failure and state transmission failure. So these three are a bit related. So that's the reason I have divided them guys. Response failure. A server response is incorrect. So here we are saying response failure. So basically the server gave something wrong information. Okay. Yes. So it could be some kind of profile also. Sometimes whenever you open your profile, you might be getting some other names, right? So it occurs rarely, but there is a chance, right? So that is nothing but response failure. It responded in the wrong way. Similarly, value failure. The value of the response is wrong. Yes. State transition failure. So basically the transition states like the flow is completely in a random way or some kind of wrong way. The server deviated from the correct flow of the control. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Similarly, arbitrary, arbitrary value. A server may produce arbitrary response to arbitrary times. Okay, so it's giving multiple values. So if you ask the first time it told x equal to 10, the value of x is 10 and there is no update or no any kind of operation and again you ask it is saying 20. So in that situation you can say that is not but arbitrary value. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about these failures. So in the next lecture we will be discussing about failure masking by redundancy. So how you can resolve with some kind of failures. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.